Uh, this is a review of the Pakistani made Hackam Din brand small pipes. These ones are in the key of A. Uh, this set has three drones. Uh, one low, one octave. Um, I mean, uh, low octave, high octave, I believe it's a A. And then I think it's a G, a middle middle drone. Uh, this this is the uh, mouth blown version. Well, here's the mouth blow pipe. And then uh, the chanter in the key of A. This is coca bola wood. It's very a very nice, very uh, dense wood. Um, um, I had to do several things to this instrument to make them a playable instrument. And I just want to let the viewers know that I'm not, uh, uh, this is an unbiased review of this instrument. Um, I want the viewers to understand what it will probably take to make one of these a playable instrument. And um, I'm going to explain here in this video. So first of all, with any with any uh, set of bagpipes, uh, is the, the the connecting pieces of a drone they have to be waterproofed or made airtight, so to speak. And in this case, I used um, the very common PVC plumbing tape um, to help make these. Uh, airtight or watertight. Um, now, given that has to really be done with any set of pipes, um, but um, this set of pipes came with an inferior set of drone reeds. They were not usable. They were uh, a synthetic reeds, but they're not engineered and manufactured to be playable. So, in the trash they went and I was able to find easy drone reeds specifically designed and manufactured for the Hackam Din pipes and they work fantastic as expected uh, but the easy drone reeds the rubber band that goes around the reed is, is a little bit too fat for the bores inside this common stock so I had to dremel out uh, the bore for the for the main drone the big drone in order for the channer I mean in order for the reed to fit through that hole so I had to enlarge the bore of one of them the others on the other two drones the reed barely fit in without uh, rubbing so that was the modification for the drone reeds, uh, for the drones. The blowpipe had a, had a, um, a valve that um, was not a good quality. It was a heavy, it was a heavy leather and it was too thick and not, I guess, not smooth enough to provide a proper clothes so that air does not escape. <clears throat> so I purchased the common uh, Scottish made um, air valve and it, it, it works good enough. Um, also had to smooth and flatten out the, the wood because it was not flat enough and it had a curve in it and that curve was letting air escape. So I had to work on this part to make the blowpipe uh, uh, <clears throat> workable. Uh, <clears throat> the channer, um, I inset the holes on the on the channer uh, so I, I can actually feel the holes. Uh, insetting holes is a common practice uh, with practice channers. Uh, so I, in, I carefully inset the holes with uh, a Dremel tool. Uh, no problem there. That was an easy an easy task. Um, but the major, the most major modification I had to do with this set of, of pipes is I 
was the gooseneck, <clears throat> there was a design problem. <clears throat> the reason um the reason why I had to modify this is because the bag, which is made out of a um, which is made out of a heavy vinyl, uh, it's basically a heavy vinyl turned inside out, so the smooth part is on the inside, and uh, the edges are mended with contact cement and then sewn. Um, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> since the, the pattern of this bag, the pattern of this bag made the channer stand out straight when you blow it up, but when you when you bend the gooseneck so that you can play it, it kinked right here. So the bag was not letting air go to the channer or even the blowpipe. So there was no air right here. There was an air restriction when, when the, the bag bent because the bag was cut straight. It wasn't cut like a gooseneck. So what I did was I cut a few inches off of the um, bag and I added I added a modification I I got a piece of uh, I got a PVC elbow which luckily is the exact same size as the chanter coupling which is a separate wooden piece I got lucky there and it actually fits perfectly and on the other end of this elbow is a piece of PVC pipe or pipe nipple right here inside. This nipple force opens this area to allow air in to get to the channer. So I solve the problem of the air restriction right here and then for now it's temporary and it's crude but for now I have a car basically I have a, a rubber hose clamp uh, holding, holding the uh, elbow on. So I don't have an air restriction problem anymore. Um, uh, and of course I had to tape all of the uh, connections of, of this instrument to make it air and water tight because it has a, it had a really bad, um, it had a, it doesn't, it's not smooth board and uh, on the inside and a lot of air was just coming out of all, all the connections. All the connections had to be tape wrapped to uh, to seal it off uh, otherwise so much air is coming out that I I couldn't play a, a single tune without getting totally winded uh, lastly in order for this channel read to match the key of these drones I had to bring the read from here all the way to here to make this read uh, this channer closely matched the key of this set of drones as much as possible. Um, normally the channer reed, the tip of the reed fits on the tip of the channer about right here. But for some reason, this channer doesn't match these drones. Um, I've, got the, I've got the drones uh, taken out as far as possible and I got the channer read inside as far as possible in order for these guys to match and what I did is I just bored it out with a with a Dremel very carefully and, and um, in different stages in order to make this read go from here all the way to here so it's nearly about three quarters of an inch modification from here to here to make this um, to make this um, basically play in the key of A or in the A note. Um, they sound good now. The, the drones sound like a choir. They sound beautiful. The chanter has a nice sound. It depends on on the um, reed. The reed affects the tone of the chanter. Um, this is not the original read. I actually messed up the original read. The original read is a longer read. This is um, this is a practice channer read out of a out of a, out of a plastic channer that uh, I'm using for now.
I'm experimenting with the different reads in this. I'll, I'll post a demonstration of these pipes in a separate video. And that's it. That's a, this is the Hackam Din brand small pipes. I recommend them for somebody who wants to experiment with making a set of bag pipes work. But for someone who doesn't want to go through the modifications to make it playable, I, I can't recommend them. Um, uh, you will need to go with probably a Scottish brand.